Hello, grade 8 students. In this presentation, we're going to talk about chapter 1 about nutrition. We're going to define the different food tests and their indications, which are found on your handouts. Study about the different digestive enzymes formed in different organs and their specificity. Determine the proper conditions for the normal functioning of the enzyme. And we're going to identify the characteristics that favor the intestinal absorption. Chapter 1, activity 1, our food. So food, all of you, you love food. What happens to the food we eat in our body? To start with a simple definition of digestion is the transformation of complex food molecules into smaller one to be used by the body cells. Which system is responsible for the digestion of food? Sure, it is digestive system. Digestive system is divided into two main parts, either digestive tube or digestive glands. Digestive tube is the organs that the food will pass through them, while digestive glands they are the organs through which food doesn't pass through. What are the organs of these digestive tube or digestive glands? Organs of digestive tube they are mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, and finally the anus. Digestive glands, we have the salivary glands that's found inside the mouth, gastric glands, pancreas, liver, and intestinal glands. What is the function of the digestive glands? Digestive glands, the main role is to secrete digestive juices into their site of action. For example, salivary glands, they secrete saliva inside the mouth, which is the site of action. If there is digestive glands they secrete saliva where into their site of action in the mouth where the medium is neutral meaning that the pH is equal to 7. Gastric glands what do they secrete they secrete gastric juices into the stomach medium is acidic meaning that the pH is less than 7. Pancreas, liver and intestinal glands all of them they are at the level of the small intestine where the medium is basic why? Pancreas secretes pancreatic juice, liver secretes bile, intestinal glands they secrete intestinal juice. As I said, all of them in the small intestine and the medium is basic, meaning that the pH is greater than 7. Food is divided into organic and inorganic. Organic, carbohydrates, proteins, lipids and vitamins. Inorganic, water and mineral salts. So here we move to the grade 9 definition of digestion is the chemical and the mechanical transformations of complex food molecules into smaller one which is called the nutrients that are used to the body cells to produce energy needed for our activities for our cellular activity here complex you are divided into simpler they are called nutrients by the process of digestion Organic food, let's start with carbohydrates. They are fast source of energy. They have complex, intermediate, and simplest form. Complex form of carbohydrates called polysaccharides. They are complex chain of simple sugar, starch, cellulose in plants, glycogen in animals. Intermediate dye, composed of two simple, for example, maltose, it's glucose, and glucose. Lactose, glucose, and galactose, mainly in milk. Both of them, they are reducing. Why sucrose is glucose plus fructose. It's a non-reducing sugar. Simplest form is a simple unit. Glucose, fructose, and galactose. All of them they are reducing sugars. Proteins, they are called plastic food and they are responsible for the growth. The complex form is protein also, complex chain of amino acid more than 52. Polypeptide, chain that contain less than 52 amino acid. And the simple form is amino acids is made up of only one unit. Lipids, you are very energetic. They have same amount of lipids and carbohydrates. That of lipids can give double the amount of energy supplied by carbohydrates. They don't have intermediate form, no intermediate. Complex is lipids, so they are fats. And the simplest is fatty acids and glycerol. How to identify different food tests? We have the foot test, water test, is done to identify the presence of water, 
we heat the foot if there is water droplets meaning that we have a positive result no water droplets meaning that there is a negative result and no water in foot so test is done to identify the presence of salt sodium chloride we add distilled water and then we have to shake the tube very well and we add silver nitrate AgNO3 for example if we have a white precipitate meaning that salt exists no white precipitate which is a negative result meaning that there is no salt failing test is done to identify the presence of reducing sugar fructose glucose galactose maltose lactose add equal numbers of failing a and failing b if we have brick red precipitate that means we have reducing sugar no brick red precipitate and the solution remains blue meaning that there is no reducing sugar iodine test is done to identify the presence of starch we add iodine solution to the foot dark blue color appears meaning that we have starch no dark blue and the color remains let's say yellow orange or brown there is no review no starch Biore test is done to identify the presence of proteins and or polypeptides we have to add equal drops of NaOH and CuSO4 a violet color appears meaning that we have proteins and or polypeptides no violet meaning that the absence of proteins and or polypeptides coagulation test is done exclusive for the presence of proteins if we have a coagulation of the food meaning that there is protein no coagulation there is no protein then translucent spot test is done to identify the presence of lipids Rub a piece of food against the paper and observe it under the sunlight. If there is a water droplet, meaning that we have lipids. No, sorry, if we have a spot, translucent spot, not water droplets, translucent spot, meaning that we have lipids. No translucent spot, there is no lipids. Sodium test. Sodium test is done to identify the presence of the also lipids add sodium test solution if we have a pink color meaning that there is a lipid no pink color there is no lipids to keep in mind before getting into activity 2 digestive juices except bile they contain enzymes what are enzymes they are the biological scissors that digest that break down, that hydrolyze, that transform, that cut food into simpler molecules. They are biological catalysts that speed the reaction without being consumed at the end of the reaction.